Danger Dolan. From legendary finds in the depths of Egypt to important figures from the Soviet Union mummified on display, we count 15 examples of well-preserved important figures from history. Number 15. Inca children. They were composed of a boy, a girl, and a maiden entombed on a 22,000-foot mountaintop over 500 years ago. In 1999, they were unearthed near the Chilean border, some of the best preserved bodies ever found. Internal organs, skin, face, heart, lungs, and even blood were present in their corpses. The reason they had deteriorated is due to the cold and thin air atop the mountain, apparently sacrificed as part of a religious ceremony or some such. Number 14. Jinja, one of the oldest known mummies in existence, ranging back to 3400 BC, alongside five others found in the late 19th century. This one, Jinja, is the most famous, nicknamed for his red hair. It went on display at the British Museum in 1991, another first since public corpse displays were widely rare at the time. Since traditional mummification wasn't a common practice, the only reason these bodies turned up more or less complete is because the warm sand dried and preserved them in their shallow graves at Egypt. Number 13. Toland Man. This guy is known as a bog body, a body naturally preserved in a bog who lived in the 4th century BC, around about the Iron Age. In 1950, he was found buried in the Jutland Peninsula, Denmark, with a head and face so well preserved that it was thought to be a recent murder victim. Instead, we find out he died over 1500 years ago, hanged by a rope with marks still visible around his neck. Although only the head was found, a replica of the body was created and now on display at the Silkeborg Museum in Denmark. Number 12. The Heartless Mummy. This one was found not two months ago from this video's publish date. Usually mummies have had their brains removed with a hook through their nose, but this is one of the exceptions. Instead, she's got her organs, intestines, stomach, liver, and heart removed with spices and lichen spread over the head and abdomen. It's believed she lived around 1700 years ago and died between age 30 and 50. It's unknown why she still had her brain intact, but we can only guess as to the reason. Number 11. Iceman Otzi, discovered in 1991 in the Italian Schnoll Valley Glacier. A man who was alive around 3300 BC, one of Europe's oldest known natural mummies. It is so well preserved that we could even see his last meals. Camos meat, red deer flanks, and her bread, along with grain, roots, and bits of fruit. Also found in his body were some ancient clothes, as well as a flint knife and sheath. Some intact blood cells known to be the oldest blood cells ever identified. Number 10. The Lady of Dai, a Chinese mummy from 2100 years ago in the Western Han Dynasty, known to be the best preserved ancient human ever found. The mummy is so complete that it's actually baffled scientists around the world, dead around 50 years of age with heaps of precious goods and fine fabrics in her tomb. In 2003, a secret compound was discovered injected into Jin Zhu's still existing blood vessels and apparently assured her preservation, but still a little bit of a mystery. Number 9. The German Mummy. This one wasn't found underground or atop some lonely mountain. It was found by a 10-year-old boy in his grandmother's attic. Inside the sarcophagus was a complete death mask, a jar used to store organs and other artifacts. Its authenticity has been called into question multiple times, but nobody can deny it would have been the creepiest thing ever to know you've been sleeping underneath a preserved dead person for god knows how long. Number 8. Vladimir Lenin, one of the more well-known figures from Russia, basically the founder of the Soviet Union who, in 1918, survived two separate assassination attempts in the same year. On the first, he got away unscathed, but the second, he was shot at least two times, and though he survived, he suffered strokes the following years and ended up basically paralyzed. His body was embalmed and now on exhibit in the Lenin Mausoleum in Moscow, although in a recent poll from 2012, 48% of the population believe he should be buried. Number 7. Jaya Sedamu, known to the ancient Egyptians as a star singer, this seven-year-old girl from 3,000 years ago was a member of the royal choir for the pharaohs of the Nile. It is believed she might have died from a short illness, possibly cholera, and it seems to be a rare example of elaborate mummification, including a veil, golden mask, and gilded sarcophagus. It's not clear why it was not built for a size of four feet, but perhaps they simply misjudged her height during construction. Number 6. 
The Caucasian Chinese Man, a 2000 year old mummy found in the Tarim Basin of Western China. A man with blonde hair and a long nose, quite unlike typical mummies found in the region. In 1993, we learned the DNA of this man came from European stock, and early Chinese texts do mention Far East Caucasian nomads such as the Bao, the Karians, and Yuzi. It's unknown how he ended up here though. Number 5. Hatchet Soup. It is a long story of mystery. What happened to the mummified corpse of this once prominent female pharaoh of the 18th dynasty of Egypt? Famous archaeologist Howard Carter discovered her royal tomb in 1902, but when he opened the sarcophagus, it was empty. A hundred years later, a team of investigators attempt to reveal the answer by looking inside a separate tomb to find an unknown female mummy. By comparing the tooth with one they knew belonged to the famed pharaoh, they were able to conclude that it was indeed her. Number four. The fourth item on this list is your mother. Ha! Number three. Rosalia Lombardo. This two-year-old girl was found in the Capuchin catacombs in Italy using a natural preservative as well as chemicals in her bloodstream, formalin, zinc, salts, alcohol, and others to allow an almost unbelievable amount of mummified preservation. Most of the details came from the handwritten memoir of the embalmer, Alfredo Salafia, who recorded the exact process used to keep her from decomposing. It's believed the use of zinc salts is what was most responsible for the level of preservation. Number two, Ramesses II. This guy is mega famous in the records of history. A pharaoh who ruled for six decades and lived until he was 90, fathering almost a hundred kids. Although he was initially buried in the fabled Valley of Kings, he was secretly moved to avoid looters, and instead he was found in 1881 in a secret royal cache. Because it had begun to deteriorate from a fungal infection, his corpse was flown to Paris for treatment. Sadly, they couldn't resuscitate him. Hey, you get it? It's a funny joke. It's a fun, funny joke. Number one. King Tutankhamun, a boy king who ruled Egypt at age nine for a total of ten years. He was basically unknown at the time, a fleeting king barely recorded in history. What made him famous was his discovery, a tomb relatively untouched by looters. Filled to the brim with ancient treasures, important artifacts, shrines, masks, and bits of invaluable history. Howard Carter, the same man who discovered the tomb of Hatshepsut, found this particular wealth of treasure, but his partner and financer, Lord Carnarvon, was killed by a mosquito bite, prompting the curse of the pharaohs. That's it for this countdown. Be sure to like the Facebook page and follow me on Twitter if you want to be informed about new videos as they go up. And have a good one!